Yo, this is Rico back again, of course. You guys, let's talk about Japan and this groundbreaking case that has been labeled a part of the Me Too movement. I honestly don't even think that it was actually a Me Too type of situation, but you know how the media is running with it. It's a case that has opened so many doors that will continue to open so many doors containing this female reporter called Shiori Ito and her case against Noriyuki Yamaguchi who is a very, very popular TV reporter in Japan. He has ties to the Prime Minister of Japan, a whole bunch of other political figures. He's wrote two books on the Prime Minister of Japan, and he has a lot of connections and power, and people love him. It really doesn't matter if they actually, actually love him, but you know, he, he, he got <laughs> all the connections. He can drop names, so he's here. <laughs> and apparently he raped this 30 year old woman he's 52 they apparently worked together at the same TV station and they went out for drinks she got crazy drunk with him from what she said he basically was you know egging her on to drink and she got really drunk she passed out in the bathroom. He tried to help her. She got in a taxi with him. She said, you know, take me to the closest train station. I'll make it on my own. But no, he, from her account, told the taxi, take us to a hotel. So she would drive to a hotel where he forcibly raped her. And this originally happened back in 2015. It has gone on for like four years where she has filed complaints. And it's been complaint after complaint. And the police has been dropping the complaints. Basically saying that there was not enough evidence. So that led her to not be able to actually file charges against this guy. She could only file a civil suit. Which is just sad. It doesn't make any sense. It's awful what is going on with the world, what is going on with East Asia and the whole rape laws and them not taking accountability for when this happens and to make sure that the people who actually do it serve time and get caught. I know that in Asian culture it's a male dominated society of course and women still kind of come second, not kind of, do come second in the workplace. And so now this whole idea of women standing up and being under the marker of the Me Too movement inspired by the events that happened in America has caused her to speak out. She originally did not even release her full name and then she decided that this has gone on long enough. I am going to be brave and I'm going to release my full name to the press and I'm going to keep pushing this case because he's not going to get away. He strongly denied that he didn't rape her. He claimed that it was consensual sex and that what she did after was of her own accord. And also he said that she was not crazy drunk. So a lot of people believed him and this girl faced so much scrutiny online. They flamed the hell out of her. They were saying that, you know, she was lying that she seduced him because of what she was wearing, that she was just trying to slander his name because he's very well known in the political circle and a lot of people know him. And it got so bad that she had to move to the UK. Her family was concerned about her, her sister was concerned about her. But what I love is that she kept pushing it. And in Japan, they don't talk about rape openly and the women who are victims do not talk about it at all. If a woman does talk about it, it's like you're causing trouble for the whole group or you're just making it bad for the man that's involved. You know, you really should just keep your mouth closed. So a lot of women don't speak out because they're very afraid and the ones that do, they withhold their identities. Japan needs to do better. They need to really update their way of thinking. I'm happy that with her being brave enough to step out that there are a little bit of people coming forward and realizing that this type of way of being is not okay. And that people should be able to speak out no matter if you're a rape victim and you're a man or a woman. 
either a man was raped by a woman or a woman raped by a man, a rape victim is a rape victim. And you should be able to be in a safe space to tell your story without worrying about people bullying you online or telling you that you're lying. She gave detailed accounts in her book called Black Box about how she constantly went to the police and she tried to file a rape claim. And she went there, she asked the police at the desk for a female officer. They kept asking her, why do you need a female officer? Obviously, use your common sense. Obviously, it's because it has something to do with something that's feminine, you know, womanly problem that she feels comfortable discussing with another woman. So finally, she told them, you know, I was raped. They're like, oh, okay, we'll take you to the room and talk to a female officer. She goes in this room and she tells the female officer everything that happened. She pours her heart out. And then at the last minute, the female officer, she like, well, I'm sorry to tell you, but actually I'm a traffic officer and I can't actually help you with this case. Oh, hell no. I need to take off my glasses. They bring in... A male officer, she has to retell her whole story again. <laughs> and then they tell her, well, the crime happened outside of our jurisdiction. So then you got to go to the police station across from the hotel and do this whole process over again. It's traumatic just you having to keep reliving those events. And still, they dropped her complaint. And basically, the police are saying after people are pressing about the issue, there wasn't enough evidence. <laughs> of course, Yamaguchi is sitting up there like, well, you know, she's lying. It's not true. We had sex. She wanted it. <laughs> How could she be lying and have wanted it? when she went through so much scrutiny if she had been lying don't you think that she would have sat down and said okay i'm not gonna go through all this with basically the whole country of japan telling me i'm a liar that i'm a slut online calling me every name under the sun that they can think of and those comments online i don't think that anybody any sane person would go through nothing like that. It was so bad. Nobody was in her corner. She was very brave. And even the judge on the case said that I really doubt that she's lying. Because she fought real hard. And dude is still walking free and has not got any charges. <laughs> she recently got awarded. 3.3 million dollars for the silver suit she won she went outside to the press she had a sign shiori ito fights back tears as she holds a banner reading lawsuit victory this as one of the most high profile cases of the me too movement in japan enters a new phase that she was outside crying it's still sad though because he's still denying her claims and he had the audacity to try to sue her back for money. Meanwhile, the prime minister sitting up there like, I don't know you. Yeah, like he really pulled a Mariah Carey up in there. I still don't know her. You have the same business manager. I don't know her. This whole situation is a hot mess. It's sad that we have come to this as a society, as a world, and that men all over really think they just go and do whatever they want to do to women. Why can't you just find a woman that actually want to do that with you? I mean, we got prostitutes, women who want one night stands. Why you got to go and take a woman's power and dignity and rape her? She said no. She even said, you know, I, I woke up from my drunken haze and he's raping me. And then the police, they made her replay the event with a blow-up doll in a gymnasium so they could have evidence, taking pictures of her and they asking her, well, how did he rape you? Who wants to go through that? With a lot of laws, it needs to be updated. They need to start thinking about different people, disenfranchised people, because they're humans. 
you know you can't sit up and not treat everybody fairly and not give the right proper laws so people have a voice for when they're being mistreated we have a problem world we have a problem east asia we have a problem south korea we have a problem japan we have a problem china taiwan we america we we got a problem you know we we really need to stop this it needs to stop because i don't see this getting any better if people don't stop and also people don't stop thinking that they can get away with doing whatever they want to do to women. You know, she was brave. I'm proud of her. I'm happy for what she's done. I hope more women in the future step up, please. I know it's harsh. I hope Japan changes their mindset about women that are saying they're being raped and coming out in the open with it and stop blaming the victim. I know some cases where the woman might be lying. Oh yeah, that's possible. Always. But please keep in mind that there are also women that it takes a lot of courage for them to come out and it has actually happened to them and they just want the person to be punished and that's what i want too and that's also what you should want so you guys this is a lot to think about put your comments below follow my social media mostly my instagram <laughs> <laughs> also have a blog on Eastage and Pop Culture. The link is always down below. My music videos up here. And you know, you gotta remember. <laughs> Be real. Stay real. Live. In the real. And I will be back. Thanks for watching.